Hey everybody, Joy here. It's Wednesday, 228 and a half. December 9, 2020. Hey, I think I actually got that right today. <laughs> oh, I know the morning is gone already. It's gone already because I had some Christmas mailing I needed to do today, so I had to get it ready, and then we had to drive to town to go to the post office, and so then since we were there, I did a very, very bad no-no, and I had gotten some videos, some very interesting videos today. I would absolutely dearly love to show them to all of you, but if I do, I'm afraid I'll be thrown off of YouTube. Oh my goodness, I hope you're watching the other channels that aren't the ones that are completely, completely lying about everything or just absolutely not telling you what's going on at all. There's a lot going on in the world right now. So please, please watch on YouTube. You can see lots of different things with different titles under them and you can learn what's going on. Okay? I'm not making it go on. I'm not keeping it from going on. It's just what's happening, all right? So don't anybody get mad at me. Okay, so here I am. What are you holding, Joy? I'm holding this. <laughs> Remember I told you that from now on, when I'm cutting these boards to wrap my material around, that I was going to put little stickers on them. Stickers on them. Now, when you order from Ma Fabric Mark Fabrics, that's Fabric Mart Fabrics uh, with a S dot com. They send you sticky stickers. And so I started sticking their sticky stickers on my boards. But that's the only company I know that does that. And so I recently ordered fabric from Cali Fabrics. And I ordered fabrics from Metro Textiles. They came with no sticky labels. So I made my own sticky labels. See? And you just like tear them off. They're address labels. You tear them off and then you can stick them wherever you want. So that's what I've been doing. I've already got some of my fabrics wrapped up, but I'm just going to show them to you quickly. I understand somebody told me that Metro Textiles is still having their 60% off and I think they said through December 9th and this is December 9th so you'll probably see this too late to do anything about it but just in case it's still December 9th, 2020 I'm going to show you what I got. Now let me see, hopefully my little sticker will tell me if it's Cali Fabrics or Metro. This is a beautiful one. This is a rayon chalet from Cali Fabrics. Now Cali Fabrics, C-A-L-I. Cali Fabrics supposedly always have theirs marked down. But for a day, or I don't know if it was Magic Monday, or freaking Friday, or what the heck it was, but <laughs> they had theirs marked down an additional percent. It's 20 or 30, I don't remember which, but it was a good price. So this is a chalet, and it's really, really pretty, and I already have it wrapped. But what it is, is the middle is this black stuff, then there's this skinny white border. Then there's a whole bunch of black stuff. Then on each end, there's a wide border of this. So it's wide, black, skinny, black, skinny, black, wide. Okay? <laughs> you can go there and look it up, okay? Let me tell you the number because I have it. Isn't that nice? Cali Fabrics. And this number on this one is R A Y dash O zero dash two zero six zero eight pink and ivory floral border print rayon chalet okay if you really love it like I do okay now here's another one I got now this one came from someplace too I don't know where anything came from was one or the other I think I have 11 new pieces let me see if I can find my sticker. It doesn't do any good to have a sticker if you can't find the sticker. All right, this is from Cali Fabrics, and it's a knit, and it's bees. So if you go to Cali Fabrics and you want to see this, just look up bees, okay? So it's got bees on it. These are bees, and there's little white flowers, and there's little hearts. And this is a knit, a very nice knit. So I thought that was super cute. 
okay? Then I got this one. You know, I live on a lake. I live on Lake Texoma in southern Oklahoma on Lake Texoma, which is like half of it's in Texas and half of it's in Oklahoma. This is from Cali Fabrics and it's a knit as well and it's called Fish School. So if you like this one, you can go to Cali Fabrics and look up Fish School. But this is another knit and it's just these cute little fish. <laughs> so I thought that would be fun to wear in the boat or just anywhere. Okay, now I got a bunch of solid colors. Nobody cares about solid colors. I got this purple one. Hold on, I'll grab my other three solids. I bought these because I want to make myself some um, leggings. And so these are super stretchy for leggings. So I got this orangey red and this pinky pink and this blue blue. And I showed you the purple purple, okay? And I also got this gorgeous one. I opened this one up and I said, Jerry, is it that pretty? He said it looks like a bedspread. And so I put it on our bed and it's absolutely gorgeous as a bedspread. <laughs> but it doesn't have any blue in it, so it can't be a bedspread. Now this fabric is different. In fact, I think it's called a canvas. It's kind of heavy, but very stretchy. I might make... No, I don't know if you can make leggings with one way stretch. It stretches this way. But it's a little stiff. It's not like knit. And it's not, it's like 100% cotton with like a rubbery back almost. So I don't know why they made such a pretty piece of fabric out of that. But <laughs> it's very pretty. <laughs> and I don't know where this came from. Let me look at my labels, Mabel. Blush peach ivory on off-white designer stretch sateen so i think that's this blush peach and ivory i don't have any more there's nothing else everything else is solid so it has to be this one cot-1-20966 Blush Peach Ivory on Off-White Designer Stretch Sateen. So, that's that one. Then I got two more solids. This is a knit and this is a knit. I love to sew with knits and these are fancy knits. Yes, Cream Stretch Italian Viscose Crepe Cream. And Double Knit Poly Fuchsia Red was the red one. Double Knit Rayon Ivory, that's the other one of these. So those are all Metro, Metro Textiles. And if they're still having a sale, you can still go there and save a gob of money. So these are really pretty, pretty, pretty. That Viv, over there Viv Mom sews. I'm going to have to ground myself from her. <laughs> she always tells me when there's a sale on patterns, when there's a sale on fabric, and she always tells me if she finds a new store. <laughs> There's some more. You want to see the rest of them? <laughs> I'm not sure where they're at. Hold on. Let me see if I can find the others because I know I bought a stripe and I don't see it. Hold on. All right. I had to go downstairs to the laundry room to get these because I washed these three together. So, this is a very fun one. I bought this because you can use either side of it. And so what you can do is like when you're making one of those capes or uh, topper and it has that like wavy front on it the back of it can show and so I thought that would be lots of fun to make it doesn't stretch that way and it doesn't stretch that way so let's see let's look up the dots and see what happens when we find them got them Italian cotton polka dots double face off white SKU 1254. The numbers are shorter if they're Metro Textiles. So this is Metro Textiles 1254. Very cute, I think. Very cute. Okay, these are all washed. I gotta get them all wrapped up today. So then I got this one. I think it's Metro also. 
cotton stripe print white and blue Metro Textiles SKU 1420 cotton stripe print now this feels like a knit it is a knit it doesn't even say it's a knit so this is a cotton knit no way that might be this one that might be this one because see it's blue and white stripes too see I really like this one yeah that's got to be this one because it does not stretch this is cotton so the one I just told you white blue cotton stripe print SKU 1420 is this one this one and I got three yards of it because I thought I could play with the stripes and it would be fun okay last but not least is this one which is definitely a knit let me see if I can figure it out stripe poly cotton jersey white navy that's this one it's, it's skew skew is 991 991 stripe poly cotton jersey white and navy you see I'm in a stripey mood <laughs> I'd love to cut something out and make it but I kind of want to make a Christmas table topper today I pulled off the uh, Thanksgiving one yesterday. Jerry and I were in there putting all those shelves in. I showed you all the shelves that I bought. Oh, nice, 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 nice are those shelves. And um, what did I start to tell? Oh, I took the Thanksgiving table runner off. And I don't have a Christmas one. And I never thought I would need a Christmas one. But obviously, I'm going to need one for every season now to put on my table out there. <laughs> I love to make a quilt, a quilted project that I can, you know, actually use sometime during the year. So I thought I'd, I'd do something easy. I don't know, applique a big poinsettia and put the stripe in it or something. I don't know. But I'm going to try to hurry up. It's already almost 3 o'clock. We spent a long, long time in town. <laughs> it took us so long. And then I did the bad, bad, bad lunch. I was playing um, videos for Jerry to hear about the things going on behind COVID, along with COVID, planned long before COVID, lots of plans coming ahead of COVID. Oh my gosh, so many people who hate America. And I'm telling you, we have got to stand, my lovely Christian friends, we have got to stand and we have got to fight for our beloved America to remain one nation under the one true God. Oh, won't you help me do it? Oh, help me do it. Oh, I wish I could just pray with you every single day. I wish I could say whatever I wanted to say and not get thrown off YouTube like so many other people. I'm going to try, since I have just a couple hours before dinner time, which I can't have dinner tonight, I'll have to have a shake. Oh yes, I started to tell you, I had a hamburger and french fries and an iced tea. Iced tea has caffeine. It's liable to keep me up till 2 a.m. So maybe between now and 2 a.m. I can actually finish a Christmas table topper, table runner. I have the one that Becky made with all the Santa Claus faces, but I, I don't want Santa Claus. Christmas is, is about Jesus, and so I want something having to do with the real meaning of Christmas for my table topper, but we'll see what I come up with. I'm sure I'll show it to you. I'll show you everything I do. <laughs> oh, you want to see my free gift? Don't you love those free gifts after you spend $500 on something that give you a free gift <laughs> yes years ago years ago like 2015 when I started being friends with Terry and Terry had never made a quilt and Terry didn't have a long arm and Terry and I got to be friends and she would come over here a lot she didn't have a sewing room she just sewed in part of her laundry room or something and she would come over here and we would sew together and I taught her how to quilt well during that time, we heard about this um, gadget, 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 where are my words? Viv has all the words, that's why I don't have any. <laughs> oh, she does, oh my gosh. Do you ever read the comments Viv writes? There's always a word in there I have to look up. She's an English teacher, you know, and she knows all the words, she's just amazing. Um, so anyway, we'll have to get off on that. <laughs> Oh yes, the gadget. It's, it's, I guess, 
I don't know if you'd call it a power tool. I guess it's not a power tool because you don't plug it in. But back when Terry and I were, I was teaching her how to quilt and she was making quilts and I was making quilts, we got an email or something telling us about the Accu quilt. And I know you quilters know what the Accu quilt is. Well, we decided what we would do is we would buy it and she'd pay half and I'd pay half because she didn't have any place to keep it at her house because she just didn't have a sewing room yet. And so we were going to keep it here. And so she paid half and I paid half and she could just come use it whenever she wanted to. And whenever she used it, she had to use it here because she didn't have a place for it at her house. So now, five years later, that's all changed. And she has a great big sewing room like I do. <laughs> she has all kinds of machines and a long arm and fabric and patterns and everything, everything, everything. So she was having to still come over here to cut things on the AccuQuilt. And we decided that was just silly. So I let her get the machine and she took it to her house uh, while we were in Oklahoma City. And so she said, you know what, I want to keep this machine over here. It's much more convenient. I don't blame her, I don't blame her, I don't blame her. I feel the same exact way. So she's going to pay me my half that I paid for that machine. And I have since ordered a brand new machine. It's the big Studio 2 cutter. And it has these dies with it. And you put the down there's a video I did a video, but there's jillions of videos. Just look up Accu Quilt Cutter on YouTube, you'll find videos on it. So I bought a new one. It was actually on sale for 50% off one day last week, and Terry told me about it. I'm like, yes, yes, yes. We got the first one for 50% off also. So I ordered it. Well, it's a great big thing. You fold both sides down and it's big and it's this long. I'll show it to you. You want to see it? Hold on and I'll take this in there and show it to you. This attic here is what's left of what used to be the room I'm standing in. The room I'm in and all of my machines are in used to be the attic and it used to look just like this mess out here. <laughs> okay, so right there on that table is my brand new Accu quilt. See? You put what's called the dies, you put them on the tray and then you push them through and then you turn this handle and then it goes through and it cuts everything up for you. So here's here's the dies that I have for it. See? I have all these dies. Terry bought two more dies herself because it's something that she and I use all the time so she wanted her own. I think they were half price also. Okay? So this is the AccuQuilt Studio 2. Okay, Joy, why did you bother telling us that? We want to know what you got for free. Well, it wasn't that. <laughs> it wasn't that. But with that, if you order it today, and if you order, so spend so much money, you get this free. Let me show you my free. I haven't even opened it. Kind of heavy. I got this. I'm not even sure what it is. <laughs> I think it's the exact same thing, just maybe a baby version. Does it show a picture? So I haven't opened this yet. So I don't know that I have any little tiny dies that would go through here. I don't know if any came with it. I don't think I can make a Christmas quilt with it. <laughs> Included inside are patterns for these creative projects. Well, patterns, but not cutters. So I don't think it comes with any cutters. You know what, I think I'll open it and see. You want to see if it comes with any dies? I do too. <laughs> Did you hear me squealing? <laughs> this is it. So it's basically the same as that other one I just showed you, only it's little. And it came with two dies. Let's see what they are. Yay! <laughs> Exciting. All right, this is Yankee puzzle number two pattern. Puzzle number two pattern. Puzzle number two pattern. I don't know. Some of you may have this and you can comment below and say, Joy, can't you tell what the heck it is? Nope. This one is called Die Cut Chart for One Six Inch Finished Block. Turn Style Pattern. Okay, so I guess it's just a bunch of triangles and that makes those quarter square triangles and this makes this triple triangle thingy. Hmm. I guess they'd be kind of tiny quilts, wouldn't they? <laughs> I don't know, but I guess that's pretty good to get for free, huh? Don't you think? 
All right, I better quit playing and get busy. I have all this fabric to fold. I have a Christmas table runner to make. And I have to play with my new machine and see exactly what I got for free. <laughs> I'll be back soon.